What's going on guys, this is Damien from The Lookout and they are here! Spoilers for Fusion World are finally here, which means that it's time to start covering this Dragon Ball game as well. So yeah, our first Fusion World video, this is gonna be interesting, but before we dive into the spoilers, huge shout out to the Coffee Club, our lovely patrons, these are our $2 and up patrons, they buy us coffee, they keep this crazy content machine going, and guys, thank you very much for your support. If you wish to join the coffee club, link to our Patreon is in the description below. And I think that's about everything. Roll the video! As with all of our videos, let's start with a breakdown. So the spoiler season has begun. I'm gonna give you some basic information first, because we haven't touched a lot of Fusion World info until now. Uh, I'm gonna go over the four leaders so that you get some extra context behind spoilers. We'll be checking out the new cards and then I'll just wrap it up with a summary. Let's go! Let's start with some basic info. So these new cards aren't from the first set. They're not set cards. Instead, they're from the upcoming decks. You can see decks to the left side. So you have red, blue, green and yellow. Goku, Frieza, uh, Vegeta and Broly. We don't have full deck lists yet. We don't have full deck lists. We only have bits and pieces here and there. And they're usually uh, spoiled in a very mixed way. It's not one color entirely in a day. So there's a bit of everything here. The spoilers are in Japanese, however. They are in Japanese, but we will be providing translations. First off, let's check out the leaders. Let's start with Goku. Goku is the red deck leader. You can see him on this small image. We don't have HD images of leaders yet, but let me tell you what it does. On the front side, he's 15k. He has, when attacking, draw a card, which is basically like an auto in uh, Master's version. And to awaken, you have to be at four lives or less. You draw a card and then you flip him over. Now he's on his awakened side. He's 20k. When attacking, draw a card. And activate battle once per turn. Choose up to one of your battle cards and it gets plus 5k for the battle. So once per turn, you can make one of your attackers big. Uh, if you have, for example, a blocker, then during your opponent's turn you can just use it and make your blocker bigger so that it can survive an attack. That's pretty cool. Then we have Vegeta. Vegeta is the blue deck leader. Um, he's pretty cool. He's a bit weird. On the front side, when attacking, you draw a card. Okay, this is the standard. So this is the bare minimum that the leader needs to do. Awaken four lives or less, draw a card and you flip him over. So just like Goku. On the awakened side, when attacking, draw a card, and then he has this ability, activate main once per turn. If you have seven or fewer cards in hand, this card gets plus 15k for the turn. So he becomes 35k for the turn if your hand size is low. So because it's seven or less, I assume that less than seven is considered a low hand size. And then you get like this bigger payoff where he's like 35k attacker. That's neat. Next we have my personal favorite, because I love playing green. Green Broly. Broly is the green deck leader. On the front side, when attacking, draw a card. Like we said, the barest of bare minimums. But, awaken four lives or less. Add one card from your life into your energy in rest mode and then you flip him over. So, once you hit four, you go down to three immediately, because you put one into your energy and then you awaken but he's 25k when he awakens he's 5k bigger than other leaders on the awakened side he doesn't have the ability to draw when he attacks but instead he has activate main once per turn place one of your energy into your drop draw one card so okay that's how you draw you kill one of your energies then this card gains plus 5k power for the turn so he's 30k attacker during your turn uh, the a bit of an issue here is that you need to keep killing your energies simply to draw so um, what this basically means is the amount of energy that you have when you awaken is the amount of energy that you will be on for the rest of the game because every turn you're just gonna charge one and you're gonna kill it to become bigger and to draw a card it's a cool concept. Last but not the least, the probably most broken one is Frieza. Frieza is the yellow deck leader, so yellow being the best color, 
transitions from Masters into Fusion World apparently. On the front side, when attacking, draw a card, awaken four lives or less, draw a card and then you flip him over. And then on the awaken side, when attacking you draw, standard. At the end of your turn, choose up to two of your battle cards, up to two, and switch them to active mode. This is insanely broken. What this means is that you can basically attack with your blockers, the cards that need to be in active mode to block. We will go over the rules of the game later, and then you can just restand them at the end of your turn, and now they can block as well. So, yeah, Frieza! It's time to take a look at the actual spoilers. So, let's start with this one. Red Goku, from my understanding, this is the boss monster of the red deck. A 35k for 5 energy. Translation, uh, he has double strike, which means that he deals 2 damage instead of 1 when he hits you. And on play, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 20,000 power until the end of the turn. So what this Goku is, is basically a 35k power removal for 5 energies. Because I have seen that a lot of these cards have around 20k or less. We still need to see some higher end cards, but for 5 you basically kill something, which could be a blocker, and then you swing for 2 damage. Uh, when combined with your leader's ability to give him plus 5k, this is a 40k attacker, which removes something and deals 2 damage. So this is amazing. We also have a couple of more red cards, so let's go over everything revealed so far. We have Krillin, a permanent. During your turn, he gains plus 5k, so... For 2 energy, he is 20k, and then you can use your leader's ability to make him 25. On play, you add 1 card from your life to your hand. He helps you awaken faster. We also have Roshi. Uh, 1 cost 5k. Translation, uh, draw a card. That's it. On play, you just draw. That's it. That's your cane trip. That's your turn 1 play. Uh, and last but not the least, we have Android 17 permanent during your opponent's turn he gets plus 5k, so he's 25k during your opponent's turn. What does this mean when he doesn't have blocker? Uh, for example, if your opponent plays uh, also plays the Goku deck and they play the boss monster, it can't kill the android because he's 25k and he only gets minus 20. So that's a cool trick, I guess. And on play, you add one card from your life to your hand to help you awaken. Let's take a look at the blue cards. So, let's start with Gohan. 20k. Permanent. During your turn, if you have 7 or less cards in hand, he gets plus 15k. He's 20k for free energy. So, uh, we have seen that Vegeta wants to play with a low hand size. Which means that for free energy, you're getting a 35k attacker. 35k. That's the size of the Goku boss monster. You just need to be on a low hand size, basically. Uh, then we have Trunks. He's like Roshi. 1 energy, 5k, and then you just draw a card when you play him. And finally we have Videl, who is a super combo. Uh, what does this mean? Well, she has this ability that says, this card gets plus 10k combo power when used in a combo from your hand during your opponent's turn. Uh, she has 10 normally, and then when you combo with her, she's 20k combo power. Let's see what green got. Uh, we have an extra card here. So, unlike a battle card, this is just, you use it and then it's gone. Um, activate main for free energy. Add the top card of your deck into your energy in active mode. Effectively, you're paying 2, because you get 1 energy immediately back, because it's entering in active mode. So, ramp in green, very cool. Then we have Shamo, who is just a 1 cost 5k blocker. Uh, it looks like Broly won't have 1 cost to draw a card, unless they haven't been revealed yet, but you're getting a 1 cost blocker, which is cool, especially because Broly goes down in lives very fast when he awakens. And then we have Paragus, 15k, 2 cost, activate main once per turn, if you don't have a Shamo in play, play up to one Shamo from the drop in active mode. So for 2 energy, you get a 15k guy who brings a 5k blocker with him. That's neat. Finally, let's take a look at yellow cards. One of the most broken cards that I've ever seen is this Frieza right here. Uh, 1 cost, 10k. Translation, on play, 
choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. For one energy and his 10k combo power guy who just switches something to rest mode, he just shuts down a blocker. For a single energy investment. This is insane. If this existed in Masters, it would have been banned or limited. Like, this is just crazy strong. Then we have Dodoria. Uh, he's just a blocker. So, once again, we are seeing a one cost which doesn't draw but has a keyword, blocker keyword to be specific, instead. And then we have Zarbon for 2 energy, 20k, blocker again, on play, add up to one card from your life to your hand. He helps you awaken. Uh, this is pretty neat, especially because your one drop is 10k, so he's already a considerably big attacker. We have seen, like, not considerably big, but we have seen 5k one drops. This one is 10, so for one energy you get like a 10k attacker, and then when you awaken you can restand him so that he can block. And there's our bomb. And the insane Frieza card, I'm so hyped to play Frieza. Before we end the video, let's quickly jump into the summary. Get hyped, Fusion World spoiler season is in full swing, which means that the Digital Clan will be coming out shortly. The starter decks look awesome so far. They really look awesome. Green is my personal favorite. You know that I'm a green player. So yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on the Broly deck. We still need to see literally any set one cards. Literally any. We don't know a single card from the set. Uh, the Lookout, us, will now cover Fusion World as well. So if you're interested in Fusion World, if you want the best Fusion World coverage, welcome to the Lookout. Expect detailed breakdowns, how to play guides, news and spoiler reveals such as this one in the near future. Uh, we're getting around 4 to 5 new cards per day, so we'll be dropping a few of these videos weekly. I think there's gonna be like one every 3 days or so, once we get a considerable enough amount of cards. And yeah, that's it for the video. That's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below. Are you hyped for Fusion World? Will you be playing Fusion World? What do you think of these spoilers? What, what is your favorite color? Uh, yeah, that's a lot of questions, but the spoiler season just randomly dropped out of nowhere. So yeah, <laughs> let me know in the comments. My personal favorite is green. I can't wait to play and I'll be playing it digitally. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below. I read all of your comments and try to respond to everything. I love our little community. And while you're here, hit those like and subscribe buttons. It helps us out a lot and we might just get to 4K subs. When we get there, I'm gonna be giving away a booster box. This has been Damien from The Lookout and I'll see all of you in the next video.